Picard, the foundation of your success in real estate since 1996. I'm here when the time is right for you. Today we're going to be talking about the car value shelf in the second quarter of 2018. I've made other videos about this on my YouTube page. As you go back, you'll see something comparable. But uh, in the last quarter, in the second quarter, we've seen the index in the Milford New Haven Metro go up 0.73. This is another positive message here about our area on the Metro North along the shoreline in Connecticut. Although Connecticut has some economic challenges, I believe that our market is undervalued based on the location, the climate, the amenities, and everything else that makes Connecticut great. Connecticut has so many great things about it, and uh, moving ahead, our proximity to Metro New York and the shoreline with the climate close to Boston and the rest of New, Eng New England is going to continue to provide value in my opinion, not to mention that I grew up here and I really like it, but I follow this pretty closely and I do believe that this is, uh, this is going to prove true over time, which is why I'm comfortable making this video. So here we're going to talk, we're going to look at our uh, cover here. You can see how the house price index went up 0.73 from the first quarter in 2018 and this is over six years of house price stability since September 2012 as you just saw on that chart. And home prices are determined by a lot of variables, interest rates, and demand. You can stop the video and read all this if you like. And we're going to now look at our index value again starting in 2001. You can see how prices went up pretty steadily all through the early part of 2000. And uh, as we got past 2004, any property purchased before this time would be worth more today and any property purchased before 2008 could have been sold if you were able to time the market that well. I don't think a lot of people did. I'm sure some people did. But you saw how the irrational exuberance and the creative financing drove the values up in 2007 where we peaked out in the second quarter of 2007. At that point, prices begin to devalue and they we're slow devaluing, you can see this, but after 2008, the devaluation happened a little faster and it continued to slowly slide down all the way until 2012. And you can see in 2012, especially this slide, really shows you how the prices were going down, 177, 78. There's a little bump up there in that 179, but uh, around 174, they started to stabilize. And we're in this 173, 174 range for quite a while if you look here. And I really noticed the value shelf in 2014 because I started noticing how we were really static or flat. And the value shelf continued. And uh, you can see here is a 175, three and a half years. And uh, I ended the value shelf after uh, five years in 2017 and we've continued to move up to the point we are today. So we basically have six years of uh, price stability and growth in uh, the Milford New Haven Metro. You can look at any of this at FHFA.gov which is where I find my information. And here's a chart from the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis and it shows you our appreciation. Some of my other videos show these charts and you can see how steep the appreciation is in many other metros, here we see other metros kind of go up like this, but Connecticut's unique in that we have this static type of appreciation here in our market despite the volume. You can see the volume line on the bottom there, and uh, look at the volume line, there it is. So you see more volume, and uh, again, when you look at other charts, we're in the static basically five point range here and the five point range ends this is like the last year here so this is what's unique about our market and we're going to look at this with a couple more charts but uh, you know I believe based on our location to New York it's going to uh, I think it's a good time there's fedstlouis.org that's another one of my sources it's all public information and this is the all transitions house price index purchase and refinance mortgages so these are the lowest rates of appreciation at the end of the second quarter. And you can see how Hartford is near the bottom. That's our capital. And there's Norwich and there's Bridgeport and Stamford. That's done better over the, you know, the five year period. And, and there's New Haven, our, our house price appreciation for five years is 4.37%. 
we'll look at national indexes again. The leading ones for one year, for one quarter appreciation. Okay, one quarter. And this is the rank, see, for appreciation across the board, because you see the arrow at the top. And uh, this is where values are going up. And uh, these are the ones you hear about. So if you bought a house there, you're probably pretty happy right now. And we're going to go down to the bottom. That's Virginia Beach. And as we go down, there's New Haven Milford, position 227. You can see our one quarter, one year, and five year appreciation. So it's just kind of remarkable how undervalued we are compared to everyone else. There's Bridgeport, which is doing better on the five year than we are and Norwich, New London, which is doing better on the five-year. And that's where the electric boat is, where we're having a lot of progress with the naval shipyards out there and new subcontractors. So uh, New London is an interesting place right now. And there's Hartford, pretty close to the bottom. So again, if you'd like to stop the video at any time and consider this, but I do believe that, you know, the Milford, New Haven area is underappreciated. This talks about what a metropolitan division is. These are areas that are greater than two and a half million. So then we become in a metro, which is a you know smaller part of a metropolitan statistical area. This is where you hear the uh, Case Shiller top 20. Okay, so you can get into all this and it tells you what the criteria are if you'd like to read it. And uh, basically, in closing, you know, my idea is to give this information to you as a public service that exists. It's been collected by our you know, people who are professionals in the field, and uh, I encourage you to call and discuss this with me. Uh, I believe that we do have a period of stability in Connecticut, and, uh, you know, we obviously can't predict the future, but the interesting thing about real estate is that you are going to be paying money to live somewhere. So you have to decide if you're going to invest and leverage debt to own a property or if you're going to rent. Because when you rent, at the end of it all, you don't have anything. And uh, when you buy real estate, it's a, it's a whole other dimension. Something I've discussed on Homeownership Builds Wealth. I'd like you to thank you for watching the video. I'd encourage you to reach out and ask questions or make comments. My name is David Carr. I'm the foundation of your success in real estate since 1996. Here in the time is right for you.